and all because of a retrograde and an eclipse and a new moon. We can use these energies to our favor, folks. That's what I've been doing this past 12 hours or so. I am someone who grew up being put in and out of a box. Shine now, be quiet now, perform now, get back in the box now. You're supposed to know everything and be beautiful and amazing now. Now you're supposed to be shh, not even seen or heard. And that can be very confusing. So my whole life I grew up not knowing how much is too much to say? How much is too much? When are you too much? When are you not enough? It's very confusing. But the point, but the point of all of that is nobody else gets to define that for me but me. I know because I drop into my heart space. I decide how do I want to be treated and I treat myself that way. And then I treat everyone else that way. Mutual respect. And then, then I decide how do I want to feel? What do I want to be? What do I want to experience in this life? And then I don't let anyone else assign a role to me. I pick my roles. And I say, this is how I show up. And then that's how I show up. And the people I attract into my life accept me that way. Not because I'm in their face with it. This is who I am, accept me or not. But because I resonate with them. They want me as me. The one and only me. Being me. Someone who mutually respects them. Being them in their life. Our energies resonate with one another. So I can't be too much for those people or they won't be around me. So I don't have to second guess it. I don't have to worry about it. Now, some people may be false with you. Some people may kind of act like they want you around and they don't really want you around. Well, you can't second guess that either. That's them being false. They're, they're doing that to themselves. If they don't really want to be around you, then they need to be authentic themselves and not be around you. You can't handle or manage their energy for them. Only they can do that. If they put themselves in your energy and they don't really want to be in your energy, that's on them. Are you going to feel it? Probably. But if they put your, themselves in your energy, you can't help that. All you can do is react as yourself to the fact that they've put themselves in your energy. All you can do is be authentically you. That's all you can do. So if you have someone who is responding to your energy, to you being you, and they're doing so inauthentically, it's not up to you to figure that out. It's up to them to stop doing it. If someone is responding to you inauthentically, it's not up to you to figure that out. It's not up to you. That's not your job. It's your job to continue being authentically you. You can't be too much you. That person doesn't have to respond. That person doesn't have to stay in your energy. If that person is staying in your energy, that person is making that decision. It's that simple. Don't take that on yourself. That's not your responsibility. You can't be too much you. You can't be too much you. Don't let anyone make you feel like you are. Ever. Whether you're like me and a little over the top and wave your hands and laugh and celebrate every little thing. Or whether you're a little more reserved. It doesn't matter. If someone chooses to be in your energy and they're doing so inauthentically, that's not on you. That's on them. You keep being you. As long as you're breathing. You live in great big capital letters. Being you. And use these retrograde energies and these eclipse and new moon energies to revisit, heal, progress, and never ever doubt that that's exactly what you're doing. You're not digressing. You're progressing always.